Hey, Trey Campbell here coming at you live with another trading recap. Today's date is March 11th, 2019. Going to go over one single trade I was in today, which was crude oil. It was a pretty good trade. I, uh, I have to admit, I was very happy with it. I'm going to first start here with a four hour chart. So you can see this uh, four hour chart here. Each candle is four hours. And basically, what I did was I started building the battle plan last night. Sunday night uh, we were right around this area right here and um, basically I saw this up high here I saw the um, you know a lot of supply right there there was supply here there was supply here you know where it's where it's uh, found resistance before so I thought well this would might be a good spot for uh, resistance again and we also had the top Keltner there uh, also for resistance so that was my main battle plan with it and it just so happened to work out picture perfect we got uh, uh, let me break down to the one minute chart here so you can see exactly how it went down I'll show you my exact entry here so when we first opened up here at 930 we were here I didn't get in there I wanted to see how it reacted it did sell off a bit and then we came back up um, what I liked about this particular trade is different from uh, a lot of trades you know I don't like to see this this uh, this retest get higher than uh, its previous it's okay sometimes if it does because you know not every pattern is perfect however you know I prefer to really like to see that close below outside this Keltner so that lets me know that you know the next move is going to be pretty good so that just gives me the confidence that I need so in fact I mean we did close below that we broke above it but we closed below it and then on this candle here we just took it out and I got triggered in on the trade somewhere in, around in this area right here uh, it's just an at the money trade and I wrote it down I was very patient with it actually and I wrote it down as far as I could I was really targeting this this area right here but um, ended up taking profits early but I did hold it longer than I normally do so I'm proud of myself for that uh, that's one major flaw of mine and a lot of other traders that I know you know we all see that green we want to take that profit but then you know this trade turns against us you know one bad trade can take out five good trades if you don't let your winners run a little bit so you can make up for your bad days so I'm really practicing uh, staying in the trade a little bit longer just letting those profits run a little bit and then uh, you know that's that's really it that's uh, that was my day I uh, had a lot going on today a lot of just uh, headache stuff and had to take care of a lot of stuff so um, I wasn't in and trading I was looking at it mostly on my phone after the after the fact uh, ES I I saw it it was like a crazy bullish run today it was insane and uh, of course my my trade plan saw that coming and it uh, this thing was absolutely nuts today uh, I, I watched it uh, let me pull the four hour up here so coming over the weekend I saw that you know obviously Friday we had a pretty good sell-off and so the gist was uh, you know to be in a buyer's market obviously we were oversold looking for good buying spots you know my my biggest spot on my battle plan was right here but we just never got the pullback uh, we did however get some higher low entries that we could have got into but I just didn't uh, participate and we also got a uh, higher low uh, support buy there off the plus 0.5 so that was a good buy too I just didn't get involved with it either so um, good trades on that you know we we're over we were definitely if you look at the four hour chart four hour chart is the the holy grail here we're we're oversold and if you also look right now if you measure this I'd say you're pretty close to a 61.8 retracement right there so you know that's that's something too to think about 
going in tomorrow, but tomorrow should be a good day, you know, whereas of right now we are massively, massively overbought, and, you know, tomorrow should be a good day to spot some, some sell triggers, and we'll see what happens there, so that's all I got, I uh, hope you guys have a good day, uh, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.